السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله I hope and pray everybody is blessed with their days of fasting and their nights of prayer and their reading of the Holy Quran throughout the entire month. Today I'm asked to speak about the devils and the satans. Chained up or not chained up, that is the question. So we know the famous hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in which he was describing the month of Ramadan فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ وَصُفِّدَتْ الشَّيَاطِينَ That the gates of heaven have been opened and the gates of hell have been closed and that the devils have been chained. So we have to ask ourselves what exactly does that mean? And that is an important question that I think is rooted in kind of a holistic understanding of Iblis and Shaitan. So obviously Iblis is a type of jinn that was created in the beginning. And Iblis um, is the father of this concept of shaitaniya. Shatona, yani ba'uda. Uh, Shatona is like to become distanced, meaning to rebel and turn away from Allah. And so shaitan is a word for one that is in rebellion against Allah. One who is uh, moving away from his calling and his message. So a literal understanding of the hadith I think many people have struggled with is that, you know, I guess if people die in Ramadan, they are going to heaven because the gates are wide open and that nobody can go to hell and that all demons and devils are all chained up. And the problem with that is we see lots of devilish things happening. We see people acting like devils and doing things like devils do and clearly by the guidance as we see in the Quran of Shaitan. So I would say what the meaning of this hadith is, is that in the month of Ramadan, if you're truly fasting with a very sincere, focused fast that is for the purpose of spiritual development and discipline, and you are reading the Quran and praying in the night, then by virtue of that reality, you are bringing yourself closer to heaven and moving yourself away from the hellfire and taming yourself to not be a shaitan in yourself because we can never forget the last verse of the Quran, مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ الَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ فِي صُدُورِ النَّاسِ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ uh, Min al jinnati wa nas is that this waswas, he is uh, either going to be a jinni or a human being. And so we could sometimes, a shaitan yajari min ibn Adam majraddam, the devil is flowing through the person like his own blood, meaning we are prone to be influenced very easily in our materialistic bodily self, our ego and selfish worldly desires by the devil. So while fasting, those desires are being tamed. And so I believe what this means is for whoever is truly fasting for them as an individual, the devils have less influence on them and they themselves will not be presented as a devil. So let's all make sure we fast this month as it was intended to be fast and that that way we are protected from the devils being closer to heaven and being removed from the hellfire. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.